In this video, I'll show you how to fix your webcam or camera not working in Windows 11. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do if your camera or webcam isn't working is just make sure that it isn't physically being blocked by anything. This could be the case where sometimes on some laptops, they've got sliders on. So literally slide it and to make sure you go and reveal the lens of the webcam. The next thing I recommend doing is making sure you haven't got any other programs currently open on your computer. I found personally in my case that for some reason I can only go and use my webcam in one application at a time. For example, if I was using it in an application like Discord, then I couldn't then go and use it in another application. I'm not sure why that is, but it just seems to be the case. So if you've got any other applications open, for example, things like Discord, then what I'd recommend doing is closing them to go and see if that helps. If that still isn't working, then what I recommend doing is if you've got like a wired webcam like on a USB cord is literally unplug it and then re-plug it in again and see if that makes any difference. And if you've got an inbuilt webcam, then what you can do is just fully restart your computer. Even if you have got a wired webcam as well, you could try restarting as well. To do that, you just literally press on the start button in the bottom of Windows, like so. And then what you can do is go and tap on the power button and go and tap on restart and your computer will then be restarted. The next thing I recommend doing is changing your privacy settings. To do that, we first need to go and open up our Windows settings. So go and tap on the Windows icon and then go and tap on settings or you can search for it if you can't find it. Then what you need to do is go to the left hand side and go and tap on privacy and security. Then what you need to do is scroll down until you go and see the option for app permissions and you need to go down to camera and in camera, make sure that uh, the apps you want to go and use the webcam or camera in are enabled. For example, in this mobile plans app, when it says off, this means the webcam is going to be blocked and therefore I couldn't go and use it. So if I want to use it in my plans, I need to go and switch it on like so just by pressing on the toggle button. And yeah, that's the other thing you need to do. And also you may need to go and change the settings in individual applications as well. For example, in Google Chrome, as it says here, there's actually a setting to go and enable your webcam on certain websites. So you may need to do it in your browser settings as well in the privacy settings in there. So once you've done that, then if it still isn't working, what I recommend doing is downloading any drivers you may need for your webcam. For example, if I had a Razer webcam, then I'd go and open up any search engine and just type in Razer webcam driver, uh, just like this, and go and search for it. And then it should go and find it pretty quickly. Make sure you go to the official website. For example, this one here is the Razer one. I then go and download it. Not every type of webcam is going to have drivers though, and sometimes they're automatically installed on your computer. And also just, just for a moment back there, maybe Make sure you don't download anything from any unofficial or sort of dodgy looking website because it may be a virus. Just make sure you download drivers from official websites. And as I said before, not all webcams are going to need drivers or sort of um, extra ones. Sometimes they're going to be automatically installed on Windows. To go and check for drivers, all we need to do is go and open up our device manager. So go and right click on the Windows icon and then go and tap on device manager just here. And I'll take a moment to load. And I'll just go and move this for you guys. And then what you need to do is go and locate cameras. And here it is. As you can see, I've got my Logi uh, C270. So go and click on it once and then right click on it and then go and tap on update driver like so. And you can do an automatic one or go and browse your computer for it as well. It doesn't matter. And as you can see, the best drivers for your device already installed. And if you want to go and reinstall any, then right click on it press update driver again, then browse my computer for drivers. And what you can do is then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers and you can choose which one. I tend to just use this top one here, then press next and then it's gonna go and install the drivers for you and basically reinstall them. It's probably worth doing if you're having any problems. So I hope one of these methods did work for you. If they did, please consider leaving a like, peace.